I first visited London when I was 19, backpacking the UK, and to be honest, it wasn't a city I ever wanted to visit again. Maybe it was the dreary weather or lack of a foreign language, or maybe because I never said hi to Tom Hiddleston. But six years later, as my Schengen visa ended during this year's nomadic journey, I decided to give London another try. I came in with low expectations, only meaning to stay for four days, but whether it was by fate or luck, I met a very special person who turned this city into one I'll cherish forever. I hope you don't use any of the footage I take because it's pretty bad. I think I will. I hope you don't. You better not. Welcome to my London Field Notes on how a city I once detested became one that will always hold a place in my heart. Staying with Dana's Chinese-British family, it felt like a peek inside what my life could have been like if I grew up here. We both speak Mandarin with a Beijing accent, though completely different English ones. Ooh. Do you like it? I like how garlic it is. Her dad is also a quiet Scorpio who loves the Chinese arts and Tibetan Buddhism. <laughs> like an eye. And like mine, her mom is dedicated to helping others and leads a non-profit. Mm. I like it, it's not too sweet. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of like living in a fun simulation of what life would be like if my parents stayed together, immigrated to England instead of Canada, and gave me fun siblings. You know, I didn't realize this trip I've met so many people who do music and I feel like I kind of manifested it because when I was in New York I was like I want to just enjoy music more for fun and Have like you sing. Ever no, I think I tried to when Taylor Swift was first a thing. I got tears in my eyes. I know. Important the people you surround yourself with. Because I feel like I'm just like absorbing all these like cool things that people do, and now I'm like, ooh, now I can learn the guitar. Yeah. That one? That one looks good too. Okay. That's the real deal. So today's farm is a Japanese farm called Ayasaka outside of London and you can come and volunteer here for a day. Okay. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, up, right? farm day. Yeah. <laughs> what fruit is this? This is the pear. Okay, so okay. first bunch of weeds down. Yeah. And then the next one, the roots on top of the leaves. Yeah. Roots on top of the leaves. Keep going that way down. And then they don't grow more weeds, but they nourish the soil in between. Yeah, that's basically a bee or basically an egg. And I always will do right by you. back and do it. Anger. More anger.
is going to be the first people to taste the Japanese drink <laughs> this year. Exciting. I'm afraid I can only give you one, but do share it out. Wow. Can you visit the green house? Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. That was our best tomato. Uh, my best tomato. Really? Oh my god, they're circular. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah. Little veggie buffet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Today, Izzy is coming over. She's a friend I made during my 10 day Vipassa meditation retreat. We're gonna go to the market together in Ali Pali and cook a fun lunch. This is my fit. Ooh. <laughs> Definitely the colored one. I love the color, they're my favorite. This one here. Oh. Anything for a newborn? Yeah, that's it perfect. Yeah. 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 I like this skinny long bear too. You might be able to pay cash. Right. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've never made a miso sauce before. Look at you guys all preparing, looking cute, whisking in the kitchen. <laughs> Chefing it up. That was it. Beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh, they do. <laughs> And now we're gonna go see Kai's gig. He's playing at a pub in South London with a saxophonist. He's a jazz drummer, so let's get it. <laughs> Are you dancing? I'm stretching. <laughs> When I stayed in London for a week six years ago, I technically saw more of the city than I did in these past 30 days, but what I didn't experience were the friendships of locals who let me be a part of their everyday lives. They showed me a more cozy and diverse side of London, like connecting to your local cultural community and how joyful it is to commute an hour to be in a backyard of a South London suburb to eat delicious homemade yo chow. God bless Kelly's mom. And none of this would have been possible if it weren't for Donna, 
who invited me into her family home and took me along to all her friend dates. So thank you a bajillion for finding my videos in a sea of many. Thank you for so lovingly welcoming me into your life and thank you for showing me this very special side of London. I love you forever and always. Mwah. Oh, and I love London too now.